Good morning, morons. It is Victor, King of the Morons, here on a Saturday morning. Off to go to work in about 30 minutes, but before that, I'm going to pump out a little video for you regarding the big controversy. Oh my god, it's the Avril Lavigne new song titled Hello Kitty, and it's getting a lot of uh, unwarranted, I think, attention on the net, but people have asked me to comment on this. I was first contact contacted by Get Germanized. The Get Germanized guy, he teaches German here on uh, YouTube. Good guy, great intro if you haven't checked him out. If you're interested in learning German, check out his channel, Get Germanized. And he got a, really one of those cool uh, college, uh, what is this, college, college, what's that college, uh, college humor? Yeah, college humor site. Got an intro like that one. I, I really like that one. I got to tell you, I'm jealous. Um, but anyway, he, he contacted me and asked me what I thought. And it was the first time I'd heard of it. And I thought, nothing. I thought, it's, I guess it's, it's okay. It's catchy. You know, it's not. I probably wouldn't buy it, but I don't see anything really wrong with it. It's kind of an interesting video in that it's a, it's this blonde girl, Avril Lavigne. Was she always blonde? Was she a brunette originally? I used to listen to her 15, 20 years ago. I used to jog to her music, the the pill, the pill song, the the isn't it sarc- the isn't it ironic days. Good, you know, good music. Um, nothing really against her. <laughs> never really thought about her much. Never th- really thought much more about her other than. She's a musician, and she makes music. So, But, of course, uh, the Internet loves to judge, and you put out anything you put out on the Internet is, is warrants to be called a racist. No matter what you do, you're racist. Just for re- being white, I'm sure she's probably racist. So, anyway, we've got an article on Yahoo uh, Music by Lindsay Parker, who says uh, there's no actual... Who says the bad thing about uh, this song is that there's no actual Hello Kitty in it. And i got to tell you, I was looking for the Hello Kitty... Uh, <laughs> in it. Uh, While we're on this subject, though, if you're interested in Hello Kitty and interesting takes on Hello Kitty, there is a wonderful, a wonderful, mm, what what do I call it? It's, it's this, it's this new format of um, entertainment. It's apparently you take 20 pictures and you, and you write a dialogue or, or talk about them in, in any way you want. Anyway, anyway, uh, my man, my man, Jake Adelstein wrote a, well, has presented one of these on Hello Kitty. And I will also give you a link to that. I, I, I want to save the save the uh, suspense for you. I mean, I don't want to ruin it for you. So check that out. And that's that's something worth watching, though. The uh, that particular presentation, let's call it. It's it's basically a slideshow with his funny remarks over it. But it's pretty clever. Anywho, back to the song. Racism. You know what? what come on. There there are real cases of racism happening in the world. There there are um, more in your face, embarrassing cases of racism. Uh, Cliven Bundy, if you don't know who he is, he's the Nevada rancher who created a big uh, scandal last week. He refuses to pay for, I, I don't know the whole story, but apparently his cows are grazing on federal land and he refuses to pay. And it's funny, like the, 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 the people who seem to represent government, government most to me are the people who defend him the most, although he's basically telling the government to go screw themselves, which is fine. He's become a bit of a folks hero to the um, Tea Party folk. Uh, but, um, he, (laughs) this guy, this guy was quoted as telling, as saying this the other day, I want to tell you one more thing I know about the Negro. Okay. He starts off like that. As soon as he just starts off like that, that sentence and, hey, I'm not racist, but they never end well. Those sentences never well. You never begin a sentence like that. Believe me. Uh, not, I, I, I'd like to say I take it from experience, but I've never been that, that stupid. Um, because, you know, I would, that would be more powerful. I could tell you I actually know from experience. But anyway, back to it. Um, so he goes on to say, and because they were basically on government subsidy, so now what do they do? They abort their young children. They put their young men in jail. And because they ner- never learn how to pick cotton. And I've often wondered, are they better off as slaves, picking cotton and having a family life and doing things? Or are they better off under government subsidy? They didn't get no more freedom. They got less freedom. Yeah, Obama, Obama was wondering that. He was thinking the other day, too, like, maybe I would have been better off not being president, just being a slave, picking cotton. I'm sure Obama thinks about that all the time. Anyway, that's a real case of racism. That's something you should get pissed off about. Not the fact that he exists, of course, because because pe- idiots like that exist all over the world. There's nothing you can really do about them. But the fact that people are, are defending him and holding him up as a model, that's a, that's a little uh, disturbing, I think. Enough, with Cl- enough, of, enough, enough of Clive and Bundy, but... Okay, so that's that's a case of real racism. Now, back to the story, of the, the 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 story, this non-story of this uh, video. It's a music, it's a music video. What do you want? There are uh, girls in it who are Asian-looking, and there's a lot of Asian-type uh, 
um, cultural, semi, semi-Asian, semi semi-Japanese cultural things happening. But is it racist? I really don't think so. There's also white girls in it too. And who knows the nationality of these uh, Asian girls dancing in the background and so what if they're dressed in uniform? That's what that's what happens to everything. Go go look at an old uh, Janet Jackson movie. Everyone, all the girls in the back are dressed the same. Or or um, Addicted to Love guy. What's his name? Somebody I forgot his name. The Addicted to Love guy. All the women are dressed. Well, actually, she was accused of being sexist. So there you go. I mean, it's nothing more than what it is. But to get to uh, to shed a little more light on this, because 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 it, it, it is interesting and you can learn quite a bit from stupid. Stupid non-issues like this. So at the end of the uh, the Yahoo article, the woman says, uh, the writer, ha ha ha, the writer says, no word from Avril's camp or if Sanrio will be filing a defamation lawsuit. In the meantime, we suggest you, okay. So I, I was thinking, that's ridiculous. But then I thought, wait a minute, there was such a case. And I did a little research. And yes, Barbie, if you do, I don't know if you remember, you guys are probably too young to remember some of you, but Back in the day, there was a song by a band named Aqua. And from the looks of them, they look like Europeans, but I'm not sure. Anyway, 1997, they, they're from Denmark, yes. They, um, they put out a song called Barbie Girl. And Mattel sued them. And they claimed that they were, uh, what was the, it was, um, they tarnished the reputation of the, of the trademark and impinged on their marketing plan. And it's pretty interesting. Uh, ultimately, though, the case was dismissed. And the judge in 2002, Judge Alex Kaczynski, Kaczynski, wasn't that the name of the Unabomber? Anyway, he said, the parties are advised to chill. And that's what I would say to everyone, everyone getting their panties in a knot over this non-story. Um, but it does, it does make you think about the power that large companies have to keep you down. Another example of that, and you can do a little research yourself. Um, this is just, I'm working on memory here. Facebook. Apparently, Facebook will not allow anyone to publish anything named book. So there's been some other companies that tried opening up their own sites. And I think some of them even predate Facebook. Because if you think about it, Blah Blah Book, it's not that original idea, but Facebook stops everybody. And the reason they can is because they're rich. They have tons of lawyers and they basically can control, they can, they can control that field through money. So I think that's a bigger crime than this. Anyway, uh, links to the Mattel vs. MCA records, uh, non, uh, another non-story in the description. Um, but let's look at the lyrics of this song, and let's see if we can find anything racist in it. And, and this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm, I wanted to give you a fresh um, reaction. So here we go. Minasan, saiko, arigato. Okay, so that's okay. Saiko, of course, means great, but it also sounds like psycho. Uh, of course, for people who don't know. Kawaii, kawaii. Mom's not home tonight, so we can roll around, have a pillow fight, like a major rager OMFG. Oh my fucking God, maybe. Let's all slumber party, like a fat kid on a pack of Smarties. I don't know what Smarties are. Those cupcakes or something? Someone chuck a cupcake at me. Okay. It's time for spin the bottle. Not gonna talk about it tomorrow. Keep it just between you and me. There's nothing to these lyrics at all yet. It's time for spin. Oh, let's see. Let's play two, truth or dare now. We can roll around in our underwear. How every silly kitty should be. Come on, come, come, kitty, kitty. You're so pretty, pretty. Don't go, kitty, kitty. Stay with me. Come, come, kitty, kitty. You're so silly, silly. Come, don't go, kitty, kitty. Play with me. Nothing special there. Uh, kawaii. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. You're so pretty. Come on. How can you say this is racist? Uh, wake up. I got a secret. Pinky swear that you're gonna keep it. That's, like, that's interesting. Interesting lyric there. A lot of cultural, cult- culturally interesting lyrics here. I would teach this just to teach some lyrics. Um, culture, you know, because the, we don't play spin the bottle in Japan. You don't play truth or dare, not really. They have batsu game, a little bit different. But um, let's see what else we got. Yeah, that's about it. That's the whole controversy. I want to do everything with you together. Come and play with me. Unless you're interpreting this as some kind of bestia- call for bestiality, I really can't see anything wrong with this song at all. Uh, yes, there are there are typical misuses of Japanese culture in the in the video. You know the the way she, I you know if you really want to get technical, the way she's eating her sushi, I suppose. Or, yeah, maybe you're not supposed to react when the guy. I don't know. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm I'm really reaching. I can't find anything really wrong with the video. Um, but and and in the and towards the end where she's walking down the street and people are walking behind her, there's actually a blonde girl wearing a Japanese a, a school uniform. So. Come on. And you do see that in Japan occasionally. You know, you do see that. So it's just a silly video. No reason to get all upset about it. But check out the links that I uh, added in the description. And um, I guess that's all I got to say about it. Thanks, everyone, for watching this silly non-video. 
But I would like to know if, if, if you really, I hope someone was really pissed off about this. I really want to know why. Why would this piss you off? Who cares? Don't you have better things to do? Really? And even if you have better things to do, I can understand being, you can, you can have better things to do and still be pissed off. But let me know why. I mean, how is this uh, racist? How is this? Oh, yes. Another, another point. Japan is not a race. You cannot be racist against Japanese. Okay. Anyway, that's all. I've talked on long enough. I'm going to go off to work. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.